PFLAG provides a place for anyone to better understand the LGBTQ community. Their quest has even found its way into Cedar Rapids Middle Schools. In partnership with Diversity Focus, here's tonight's Voices of Diversity. It wasn't a popular thing to be gay in our community. Jennifer Rowry and her wife Rita Davini both came from small towns where coming out wasn't easy. And I didn't really have anybody to look to and say, you know, it's okay to be me. That changed for Jennifer as a college student at a gay rights parade. Strangers from the crowd would run out and hug these parents because they didn't have maybe parents of their own to hug. We are the those parents were from PFLAG, a group that supports sons, daughters, friends that are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or questioning. That really struck me, and, and that part of that was what allowed me to kind of be brave and tell my parents and trust that they're going to be more like the PFLAG parent and less like a parent that would reject me. More like Diane Peterson, the chair of PFLAG in Cedar Rapids. My youngest son is gay, and a lot of people would ask me, and I was always just very open with, you know my son is gay. Through PFLAG's monthly support groups, Diane's hoping to help other parents navigate similar situations. PFLAG is even making a difference in Cedar Rapids Middle Schools. Bibliotherapy is a way to help through books. So the district and PFLAG came together to choose books for students that represent the LGBTQ community. Schools received the books just last month. Sometimes Students who are not necessarily comfortable approaching an adult, I think sometimes can identify with characters in a book. It's a similar idea to the PFLAG meetings where everyone is invited to belong. To see how many parents and family uh, are all involved, it just it made you feel like you were more home. In addition to PFLAG's monthly support meetings, they also work with organizations like Diversity Focus and Pride to put on events in the community. They hope to promote more awareness. Sadie Hughes, Fox 28 News at 9.